So Jurassic World Dominion isn't that bad, but you do leave the movie thinking, gosh, this could have been so much better. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel Lifestyle Critic. I hope you're having a brilliant day. So in this video we are going to be reviewing Jurassic World Dominion, which is a science fiction action adventure thriller movie set as the final part of the three-part Jurassic World series as well as the sixth and final part of the complete Jurassic Park and Jurassic World series which is really, really cool and should mean that this movie is going to be catastrophic and absolutely incredible. Now this movie, I mean, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it either. I know it's been absolutely scathed by other reviewers and I do think there is gems in this movie. However, it is really difficult to get to them, especially as the first act of this movie, gosh, it's an absolute bore fest, but it is worth getting through all of that as on the other side, there is light on the other side as all of the action sequences are really, really cool. I absolutely love all of the respect that they paid all of the legacy characters. I guess what they did with the corporate world is a little bit different for a Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movie, even though they could have done that so much better. And the way in which they view dinosaurs living in the real world, I think is really, really interesting. I don't think it's fully realistic, but that being said, I do feel like they did carry through with the depiction of how they felt it would be like. And I'm going to be breaking it all down for you in this movie review. So from a storyline perspective, it does kind of feel like there are two movies going on concurrently as we have the Jurassic Park storyline and then we have the Jurassic World storyline and the two of them do eventually converge and it is really, really great how they've structured it but you can really feel like there are two kind of different things going on at the same time. So let's look at Jurassic World first. So nefarious scientific organization Biosyn has kidnapped the clone called Maisie from the previous movie which leads Owen and Claire to go on a bit of a kidnapping mission to try to retrieve her and to save her. Meanwhile, we have the Jurassic Park storyline going on. So we have Ellie and Grant reuniting and trying to prove that Biosyn are up to no good. So I want to infiltrate this organization and steal some incriminating DNA to prove this. Like I said, we then have the two storylines converging and then we explore whether or not all of these heroes are going to survive if they're going to prove that Biosyn is the evil organization that they know it is and whether or not dinosaurs are going to be able to live amongst us. Now, from a positive point of view, I think all of the action sequences in this movie are absolutely incredible. It's really, really gripping. Every single action sequence is really, really different and it's really, really great as well. And I feel like they did a really good job with all of the action sequences. I love the fact that they introduced a bit of a black market with dinosaurs so you can buy your own dinosaur in a bit of an underhand way, which I thought was really, really clever. I feel like it interweaves the past with the present really successfully. Obviously, we have very different storylines going on in Jurassic World versus Jurassic Park and I feel like they combine the two of them really really well. It does feel like there is quite a lot going on in this movie and they do pack in a lot which does mean the runtime of this movie does at times feel a little bit too long but like I said I feel like they are pretty successful in how they interweave the two of these together and I think the evil organization Biosyn are depicted relatively well as the big bads and the big villains in this movie, however, from a negative point of view, I just feel like they could have pushed that particular aspect so much further. I feel like all of the evil stuff that Biosyn are doing isn't really explored that much. And I feel like they could have amplified it so much further to make this Steve Jobs type person just even more evil and even more hated. And on that point, I feel like they could have made the plot of this movie really bigger, better, bolder, and just made it even more nefarious, even more menacing that all of these characters have to deal with. And even though the length of this movie is really, really long, sometimes, you know, that isn't a bad thing. I mean, you know, the Snyder Cut was four hours long, Avengers Endgame is a really long movie. You know, long runtime, if it's entertaining, I feel like it's really great. But I feel like with this movie, movie it just feels too long but they could have kept the runtime but just made it so much better but like I said the first act of this movie is such a chore to get through even though there is gems on the other side I feel like they really should have improved the first act of this movie there are certain aspects as well that you have kind of feel like you have seen it before and I don't feel like it's fully realistic as dinosaurs are true carnivores I feel like there would have been a lot more destruction and chaos going on in the real world I mean you do kind of see it in this caged world a little bit but I just feel like they could have and should have explored that a lot more in the real world. But that being said, from a storyline point of view, even though there are quite a few missteps in this movie, on the whole, I do feel like there are some great moments in there as well. 
So from a casting character's point of view, it's really, really great as they've got so many big superstar names in this movie. It does feel like a celebration in this film as like I said, it is the final chapter as part of the Jurassic World series as well as the entire Jurassic Park and Jurassic World series. So in turn, they don't do that much character development with each individual character as there are loads of characters in this movie, but I think that's fine as there is a massive ensemble piece in this movie. So let's go through them one by one. So first up, of course, we have Chris Pratt reprising his role as the Owen character, the former employee of Jurassic World, and I feel like he leads this franchise really, really well. I mean, he is always playing the typical role that Chris Pratt plays in terms of a bit of a comedic action superstar, but he carries this movie really, really well and all of his action sequences are absolutely wicked. Next up, we have Bryce Dallas Howard, who equally does a really, really good job as the Claire character, the adoptive mother of the Maisie character, and you really can feel her maternal instincts and her desire to do anything and everything to try and save and retrieve the Maisie character, and she really is no nonsense whilst also being a caring character and also playing the part super well. Next up, we have Sam Neill, who is returning from the original Jurassic Park movies, and he just brings so much warmth as the Dr. Grant character, and he just instantly is really, really iconic. I absolutely loved it, how everyone in my cinema complex were absolutely cheering when this character first came on. Absolutely brilliant, just brings so much warmth to the screen, and I love how he reluctantly is being lured back into this world, even though you know in his heart he is really wanting and really desiring it as well. And I just feel like he just brings the past heritage so brilliantly, has a little bit of an Indiana Jones vibe to him, especially with his hat as well. And this character has quite a lot of screen presence as well, and a lot of screen time. On top of that, I feel like they did a really good job in terms of really respecting all of the legacy characters. And on that point, we've of course got Laura Dan, who returns as the Dr. Ellie character. And like I said, I just absolutely loved having all of the legacy characters back. They are just bringing so much nostalgia with them. And like I said, they just paid so much respect to the legacy characters. As like I said, they were on balance with the current Jurassic World characters as they had their own distinctive storylines. In some respects, maybe even more interesting storylines than the Jurassic World counterparts. And I feel like it's really different to how other franchises have explored nostalgia and cameo appearances as well. As in this movie, they really do elevate their legacy characters to the same level as the current characters, whereas other movie franchises just do a bit of a glorified cameo or an extended cameo, whereas this time they are true cast members. Similarly, we've also got Jeff Goldblum back too as Dr. Ian, and he has some hilarious one-liners and just delivers them so brilliantly, and Jeff Goldblum really does bring his awesome personality into this role. We've also got Mahmoudi Athi in this movie playing the Ramsey character, brilliantly playing this new character, and I feel like he did a really, really good job in his own solo movie, Black Box and very similarly brings a lot to the table in this film. We've also got Duanda Wise in this movie as the Air Force pilot, and very similarly, she's got a lot of action sequences with Chris Pratt's character. It just brings them to life really, really well, and very similarly, has got some awesome one-liners. And then finally, we've also got Campbell Scott, who I absolutely love, especially after he made the Richard Parker. In the first two Amazing Spider-Man movies, I'm secretly hoping that we do get to see him reprise that role one day in the future. But as far as this role is concerned, I feel like he was decent playing the Steve Jobs evil version in Biosyn, but I just feel like they really could have elevated all of the things that he was doing and the nefarious plans that he's doing as well so much further. But that being said, from a casting character's point of view, they've got some awesome names in this movie, and I feel like they play all of their parts really, really well. So from a visuals point of view, on the whole, I do actually think they did a really, really good job with this movie. I mean, all of the dinosaurs look really, really great, really, really believable. All of the action sequences, every single one, even though it does take a while to get to them, look absolutely brilliant, really edge of your seat viewing, really, really cool. I feel like they're really innovative as well. And I feel like they use different vehicles really, really well. I feel like all of the dinosaurs chasing everybody looks really, really great all of the exotic locations that they go to are really, really great, especially considering the fact that they filmed this movie during the COVID pandemic. I do feel like they could have pushed the evil organization aspects of this movie so much further as well, as they do feel a little bit basic and a little bit 90s. But that being said, on the whole, from a visual point of view, Jurassic World Dominion is actually really, really awesome. <laughs> So from a comparisons perspective, even though all of the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movies, unfortunately, have got progressively worse with each installment, I do feel like, you know, this movie is definitely watchable. And in terms of comparing it to other dinosaur movies, I do think it's relatively decent as well. And I would say it's a lot stronger than all of the Godzilla movies. So I do feel like even though this movie isn't the best, it isn't the worst either. <laughs> 
So overall, with Jurassic World Dominion, when I started watching this movie, I was thinking, oh god, this movie is going to get a really, really low score from me. I can understand why all of the Rotten Tomatoes reviews have been really, really low, as the first act of this movie is just such a chore and such a bore to get through. However, after that, it did improve somewhat. The action sequences were absolutely brilliant and the converging of the past and present storylines were really, really great. And on that point, like I said, I think it's really great the respect that they gave all of the legacy characters. Very different to how other franchises have approached legacy characters. And I think for that reason alone, it's really respectable what they did with this movie. And so for all of those reasons, I'm going to give this movie a respectable 5 out of 10. Now I'd love to hear what you thought of Jurassic World Dominion, so please let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.